Our next caller is Kate from California. Hey, Kate, how can we help you? Hi, guys. Thanks for answering my question. I really appreciate it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Um, so I started weightlifting probably like five years ago. Um, and at the time, I was very active in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Um, so the training that I did really was just to complement um, my martial arts. Uh, since then, I have um, not been training um, so much in BJJ, and I just want to focus more on my physique. Um, I've never followed a structured program, so I was really interested in um, choosing one of the MAPS programs, um, and I had my eye on anabolic. I have a question, though, um, as regards the, um, what do you guys call it, like the little extra add-on programs? MAPS mods. The mods. Yes. Yeah. Um, my shoulders are something that I really want to see some more development in. So I was wondering if I could add one of um, the shoulder mods to uh, MAPS Anabolic. You could, but I would, if I had my choice with you, I would actually prefer you go anabolic, mm -hmm. then aesthetic uh, in that in that order. And then in aesthetic, you'll actually get a, an opportunity to um, make shoulders your focus. I just think you'll get great benefits in your shoulders just from ru running anabolic. And before throwing more volume on it uh, with like a mod or just trying to add more, like follow the program and then transition into a program that was designed to sculpt and okay. bring up body parts. Okay, are you still doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or anything else or is this going to be pure now resistance training? Um, it's pretty much pure resistance training. Um, I have about four or five days during the week that um, I do like to um, go to the gym. Um I do cycling and running on the side, but that's more like a fun thing for me. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm with Adam. MAPS Anabolic. Now that you have the choice in MAPS Anabolic to do two or three foundational workouts a week, uh, I would recommend that you do three. And then the trigger sessions, if you want, you can focus on your shoulders with the trigger sessions on right. the days mm -hmm. in between. And you should see significant progress uh, with strength, muscle, and, and body sculpting. So let's go in that direction. After you do MAPS Anabolic, the three foundational workouts, the trigger sessions, after you complete it, then move to MAPS Aesthetic, like Adam said, and then let's let's see what happens to your body. But I think you're gonna I think you're gonna do phenomenal. You're gonna see a lot of great results, especially if you really focus on those trigger sessions, hitting them multiple times a day, which yeah. I, a lot of people don't really read that part. And I want to emphasize that because you're gonna get that recovery, and and also it's gonna it's gonna help you to to boost your performance going into the next workout. Yeah. Now you said you don't have Maps Anabolic, correct? I do not. No, I was. Uh, I've been. I've been scrolling through all the programs all and right. going, okay, which one's for me? Well, um, well, Kate, I want you to check under your chair right now. <laughs> <laughs> My cat's there. You did a program. <laughs> yeah. We're sending MAPS Anabolic to you for free. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank Everybody you. gets thank MAPS. You. <laughs> all right. So uh, we're, we're going to send that over to you and then follow it like we just said. And yeah. please keep in touch. Let and, us know what your progress and is. And more, like. more specifically, that's good, yeah, that's, more specifically <laughs> with the trigger sessions, I think I would actually do. Uh, <laughs> So when you do your trigger sessions, you'll see, and listen, watch the videos, uh, make sure, here's a mistake everybody thinks that trigger sessions are like another workout. The intensity level is supposed to be a lot lower. You're not trying to- You're just you're, getting a pump. That's right. You're just kind of getting a pump. But when you do it, because shoulders are a focus, what I would have you do as a client is I'd say, hey, I want you to do rear flies, lateral raises, and some presses with the band. There you go. Uh, every trigger session. And that, and we do like three rounds of that. That would be like my uh, prescription to you bef uh, before we scale into MAPS Aesthetic. Sounds great. All right. Let us know what happens. Okay, Kate? Thanks. Super excited. Thank you, guys. No problem. All right. Yeah, just under her chair. <laughs> it's yeah. under your chair. Yeah. Yeah. You've been I know. wanting to say that for so long. I, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you There's know what? Because yeah. you have their email, right, Doug? Right? You have her email already, or no? Uh, Jerry does. Yeah. Oh, it's too bad, Doug. Because if you had it right away, it would be kind of cool to like yeah. him already be sending it, and then you steal yeah. the. Check it. your right pocket. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Check your email right now. Yeah. Boom! It's there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> she's gonna do junk file. She, it, just because she stopped Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and is focusing entirely on resistance training, she's gonna get the benefits of that. Oh yeah, she's gonna build some 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 good muscle. That's why I like this question because, again, it, it highlights uh, all of our tendency, I feel, as just humans, right? <laughs> we want to do all of that. We, I have, I want to build my shoulders, so I see you guys have a mod program. I see you have yeah. a program that's for aesthetics. like, But you're going to get tremendous benefits from just running anabolic. 
And if you want the max benefits from the mod, the max benefits from aesthetic, then you will follow it in that order. If you jump, there's steps. You don't want to like do all the steps at the same time. Yes, that's right. 